pregnancy can be an exciting time, but it may feel overwhelming, especially if you have any complications or health conditions such as preeclampsia. This video will help you learn about preeclampsia, what it is, and how it's managed. Preeclampsia, also called toxemia of pregnancy, is a condition that causes high blood pressure and other serious problems with the way your kidneys and liver function and how your blood clots. Preeclampsia may develop as early as 20 weeks of pregnancy, but usually occurs later in the third trimester. If preeclampsia worsens or is not treated, it can lead to more serious complications that may affect you or your baby. The cause of preeclampsia is not well understood, but the following risk factors may put you at a higher risk for developing the condition. Risk factors for preeclampsia include if this is your first pregnancy, you had preeclampsia during a past pregnancy, you have a close family member who had preeclampsia, like a mom or sister, you have high blood pressure, you are pregnant with twins or triplets, you are 40 years of age or older, you are African American, you have kidney disease or diabetes, you have medical conditions such as lupus or blood diseases, or you are very overweight. It's recommended that all pregnant women be screened for preeclampsia with blood pressure measurements at each prenatal care visit. If your blood pressure reading is above 140 over 90, you may need to have additional testing to confirm a diagnosis. In addition to blood pressure measurements and other tests, your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam and ask about your symptoms. Some women have no signs other than high blood pressure to indicate they may have preeclampsia. Others may experience swelling of the face or hands, headache that does not go away, changes in vision, pain in the abdomen, especially in the upper right quadrant, nausea and vomiting, sudden weight gain, problems breathing or chest pain, or you may just not feel well and not know why. If you have any of these signs or symptoms of preeclampsia, call your healthcare provider right away. If preeclampsia is not treated, it may develop into a more serious condition called eclampsia, which causes seizures, increases your risk for a stroke, and may lead to organ failure and possibly death. Untreated preeclampsia can also put your baby at risk for complications, such as low birth weight, growth problems, and stillbirth. Treatment for preeclampsia includes closely monitoring your symptoms and blood pressure, you may also have additional testing to assess your liver and kidney function, blood clotting function, and check your urine for protein. Your baby will also be monitored. Depending on your situation, your healthcare provider may prescribe medications to help lower your blood pressure. In addition, your provider may direct you to take a low dose or baby aspirin daily. In some cases, you may also need medicines to help prevent seizures, such as magnesium sulfate, this medicine is usually given by IV and requires close monitoring in the hospital setting. Depending on the stage of your pregnancy and how severe your symptoms are, your healthcare provider may discuss with you the option to deliver your baby rather than wait for labor to start naturally. In this case, delivering your baby may relieve your symptoms quickly and help prevent complications to you and your baby. A delivery plan may include inducing labor or proceeding with an emergency C-section to deliver your baby more quickly. The type of delivery will depend on many things, such as if your symptoms are worsening and how well your baby is tolerating your illness. If you have questions or concerns about preeclampsia or eclampsia and how they are managed, ask your healthcare provider, how will I be monitored? Will I need to monitor my blood pressure at home? What are the symptoms I should be aware of that would indicate a problem? Will I need to take medicines? What are the risks? What are the side effects? What number should I call if I have concerns? Preeclampsia and eclampsia are serious conditions. However, close monitoring, treatment with medicines, and being aware of your body and symptoms are effective ways to manage this condition and protect you and your baby. It's important that you and your partner are well informed of actions you should take if your symptoms change. Work with your healthcare provider to understand your condition and ask for support and resources along the way. To learn more about preeclampsia and eclampsia, visit the website of the Department of Health and Human Services Office on Women's Health or the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists.